Here's a section on close-up and macro shots. And for anyone who doesn't know what macro is, uh, macro is uh, basically very close-up, very uh, uh, sort of magnified use of a lens. Is the specific lenses I've got one here is a is a Panasonic 45 millimeter macro lens. On the Panasonic cameras, there's a two times x factor, so the 45 times two. It's a 90 millimeter, which is a very nice lens for macro, very close up. And with this lens, you can get you know one to one ratios. You can actually get in very very close, just parts of flowers. Also useful for you know uh, stamps and coins and things like that. So it's very useful uh, when you're shooting this kind of close up work to have a macro lens. Some other lenses have uh, zoom lenses have a macro feature built into them that enable you to uh, focus very closely. But some have a, a a lot of lenses have a minimum focus distance. For instance, uh, I've got one lens. You can't you can't get closer than six feet. It won't focus. That sort of thing. So the, so that lens is is not useful at all for close up flower photography. So you you definitely need a certain type of lens. Not necessarily an expensive type of lens, but there are types of lenses, uh, as I mentioned, macro and some others that will enable you to get in close and get shots like this. Uh, this is a, a photograph by Jabina Townsend Zellner, Zellner uh, out of San Diego, and she's a student of Chris Michaels. Chris teaches uh, DPA classes in San Diego, and I just kind of love the softness of this. There was, uh, you know, beautiful kind of softness over here, and little bits of sharpness that it, it, it very much reminded me of a painting. It was quite quite a beautiful shot, and I did like how it was just sort of offset. We've got sort of half the, the flower up here and half up here. So there's a very sort of poetic feel to this photo, which I quite like. Here's a photo by Russ Burden. Russ teaches DPA classes in Denver in addition to some of his own workshops. And he, it, it's slightly different, a little, a little wider shot, the, the entire flower, but still very sharp. And in parts of it, you can see these uh, little dew drops down here. But it's got a little softness going in the, in the back. And what's, what's really nice about this shot is the green lily pads really make a, a very nice canvas for the flower. You've got this uh, bright, bright pink sort of fuchsia flower and really contrasts against the green of the, the lily pads. So contrasting colors are very useful when you're doing flower photography. If, you're, if, you're, uh, if you've got a whole bunch of pink, pink flowers and you focus in on one, you still have a pink background, so you've got no separation. It all kind of can meld together. Where something like this really gives you separation and jumps that flower right off the page. 